Uh, let's start. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. My name is Kazuo Mikato. I'm working for Panasonic. Today, I'd like to talk about developing a better system, especially fast startup time using a suspend to RAM on Linux-based IBA system. I'd like to explain by this agenda. I explain the background of improving the startup time of, for the IBM system. As shown in this figure, the software of IBM system is increasing, display resolution is expanding, and it has multi stream, so data size is being increased. DRAM size, now it became about 4 gigabyte. On the other hand, Startup time and quick response of the system are required by the driver much more. For users, the time to wait for system startup is wasteful and tedious. The fast startup of IBS system is obviously necessary, I think. Users want to start driving quickly after getting into a car and turning ignition on. Before driving a car, most users expect the navigation system to guide the route for their destination. When going back to the car, users hope that the last display and music are immediately resumed. There are several issues of IBS system startup time. How do we realize the quick startup time suitable for users who are used to smartphone? IBS system needs to be activated as soon as the user gets into the car. How do we improve the startup time of turning back the function of music player car navigation display for user operation? The amount size of data are increased due to improving the user experience and display resolution. As a result, reading the data from storage costs much longer, so the startup time is increased too. Although large battery is equipped in the vehicle, the issues of dark current has to be considered when the car not being used for several weeks. The dark current is like a standby power consumption. Approaches for optimizing startup time. There are some methods of optimizing startup time. First approach is eliminating the bottlenecks and improving process. To find the bottleneck, profiling and analysis is needed. We can fundamentally improve using this approach, but know-how is required to specify the bottleneck and improve. Second approach is to show the quick start as a user's view. The method is typically can wake up. It seems to start up fast when getting into a car, but it depends on OEM car manufacturer requirements. Third approach is to return fast without completely topping up the system. The method is suspend routine. It's the method of saving the current state to DRAM and restarting from the state saved at that time. Fast resume is possible, but but whole DRAM is alive and electric power for DRAM is consumed. First approach is to turn power off, adding to suspend and resume. The method is snapshot boot, and it's saving the corner image of a certain point into the storage, and booting up from the point when resuming the system. Electric power is not consumed as compared with number three suspend and resume, but the load time from storage will be, become a bottleneck. 
in 2016, at the presentation of Automotive Linux Summit, we introduced the fast boot technique using the VRAM FS and DRAM backup system. At last year, we improved mainly boot process until application startup with a skip of load, loading image. At this presentation, now we'd like to consider the first startup solution for the next IBM products. For that purpose, this prototype should be implemented on the next generation's SOC. And this improvement of startup time should be including application launch. When improving startup time, analyzing the performance and eliminating the bottleneck is basic approach. And it's significant as a common baseline. And we also have to realize the user experience of startup time like smartphones. <coughs> At first, number one, eliminate the bottleneck and improve processing. This will be the baseline for uh, uh, all startup improvements. We try to improve the various points and the time, including the application startup, was improved. About number two, startup with can wake up is very useful and available in some cases. However, it's dependent on OEM maker requirements, and there are some systems not supported global CAM protocol. And also, in specific cases, it does not look fast. About number four, for achievement of, of smartphone user experience, snapshot boot technique has still issue of loading time from EMC or non volatile devices. On smartphones, you can look at the lock screen immediately when returning from the black screen. In order to realize the UX on the IBS system, it is necessary to consider how to return from the suspend state. Because battery power is finite and the OMS requirements for the drug current are very severe. However, DRAM chip on the next SOC will be the type of low power consumption. So we adopted the suspend and resume method. And we have to take care of the dark current. What is the target of startup time? We chose the typical use case for evaluation. First, it's startup time of turning back to current navigation and playing USB audio. Second case, startup time of displaying the rear camera image. Third case, startup time of turning back to current navigation and turning the radio on. In each case, the target of startup time is under one second. In addition to the target time of those cases, we try to reduce the dark current at the suspense state. I explain the improvements startup time at the code boot next. This is hardware block diagram of IBS system. In order to evaluate the startup time, we use the system hardware shown below. It's based on Renaissance Alka M3 SOC and integrated with the system control processor and some peripherals with full HD LCD display. DRAM chip is LPDDR4 with self-refresh logic. Connect the high-speed EMC with the uh, HS400 mode. This is software block, block diagram for evaluation. For the use case I said earlier, we ported the car navigation software, rear view camera application, FM radio application, and USB audio application. 
these applications are implemented and ported as Qt application and Qt 5.7 was provided from the Qt company. And also the OS is for 64-bit uh, Linux and it, it's 4.6 4 kernel based on the BSP for Alcar M3. This is a system startup overview. We can divide the system startup sequence into several phases, and we, sh we should consider the approach for each phase. First, bootloader, it is loading binary image. Second, starting Linux kernel, it is initializing something. Third, system init, this is minimal pre preparation for user space processes. Those processes about have the bottleneck mainly caused by I.O. At last, service and application startup is dependent on application perform and toolkit. First improvement phase is for bootloader. Bootloader is loading the image, so we developed the EMFC driver to use HS4400 mode and increase the transfer speed. And we reduce the EMFC access, for example, how to read DTS device tree information from, from EMFC. As a result, we reduced about 120 milliseconds of the startup time of bootloader. Next improvements are for kernel. As a result of tracing the kernel startup, it was found that the device driver, device driver initialization was serialized and blocked the following process. Especially, SDHI initializing processing and DCI initializing processing was sequentially running and wait for the device response. So we executed these processes in parallel using case and we changed the some device drivers to the loadable modules and delayed until needed. The startup time of kernel has improved by uh, six, 672 milliseconds. Next improvements are for system init. We developed original simple init called system init. System init is for running service process and making device environment for user. For example, making device files and simple links and mounting file system. Why originally developed? We need a minimum init function. Standard init process like system D is not necessary for our product requirements. As a result, our system init time was improved from about nine, 900 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds by skipping initialization of the EMC and reduce file system access. Our target of startup time is increasing the application startup, for example, current navigation and USB audio replay. We modified the libraries to be pre-linked in order to improve the startup of the navigation software. And we optimized two. Optimized two many GStreamer plugins for USB audio application. As a result, we can reduce about three, minutes, three seconds of the startup time of car navigation and USB audio replay. This slide showed you just information such as troubleshooting when improving the startup of service and application. We eliminate the wait for setting network and omitted uh, connection verification processing for 
interface <coughs> because the display unit specification was fixed and there was some, some error on printing process updated versions of the tool for build was fixed I hope it will be helpful for you as shown from this figure we achieved 4.5 seconds as the start of time in including application launch. Practically, in other words, you can see the dust display for current navigation and you can listen to the music of UCB audio within 4.5 seconds after turning power on. This is a fast code boot and does not consume electric power during system stopping. We have the development prototype ready for this conference and we will show you later and we have a demonstration booth case so I hope you will come to our demonstration booth and uh, I'm happy to discuss about the system in order to achieve ultra fast startup uh, that is one second startup so another approach is required we think thus we adopted the suspend resume approach gen generic called one boot for ultra fast boot we added two states before the ACC of states when I presented the fast build technique at LS last year, at the time system had only SEC off state after user turning SEC off. At this time, we made two states, sleep and suspend state, to develop the suspend and resume state system. These two states are recognized as SEC off for user's view. Sleep state is such condition as stopping music play and switching display off and it is to prepare for user's immediate SC on after SC off. Suspend state is basically power supply off except for DRAM and applications is suspended. When we develop the practical product, each stage transition should be considered according to the product requirements. Now, our pro prototype system has each transition timing as uh, sleep state is changed to suspend state after several seconds of SEC off trigger in order to reduce power consumption. And we assume that after a few weeks suspend state, it changed to SEC off state in order to bring the power consumption close to zero and also the change to sleep state from suspend or SEC off is caused by not only SEC on but can signal or something else what is suspended as hardware this diagram shows which hardware block is powered White block indicates active and powered part. Those are systems control processor and CAM processor. And gray block means power off block. For example, I best soft SOC in center, main display, non volatile memory, and so on. DRAM block colored by light blue is kept in self refresh mode. This is software block diagram for one boot. Arm trusted firmware, which is like a bootloader, jumps to the kernel resume point by setting a program counter. The system can skip the U-boot application launch and manage the process because those have the learning condition already. Power management framework in kernel and power manager service cooperate for its research. Application suspend and resume method is called with the notice from the power manager. Um,
This is the second for suspended to power management. The leftmost line indicates processing by the reset and power control unit, SYS, and the colored area indicates processing of the software on SOC. When turning SOC off, power manager makes the application pause and sleep. After a few seconds in sleep mode, power manager accepts the notice from SYS and the power manager notices the state transition to the device drivers and ARM trusted firmware through the kernel framework. The device drivers save the context and ARM trusted firmware sets DRAM to self-refresh mode. And then SYS turns most device Devices power off and the system is going to suspend mode. Next, the reason processing is the opposite processing of suspend. When turning SSC on, the ARM trusted firmware checks the resume flag and then jumps to the resume function. The device drivers destroy the context and power manager resumes applications and then the system is going back to sleep mode. In this slide, we'd like to introduce the part of our original development in IATM's more. We implemented the suspend resume function of custom device drivers and our applications. And also, because there, there was a problem that playback of audio was short to start, so we developed the cache system that pre-release the next data at the time of suspend and use the data at the time of returning to play music. We have already achieved less than five seconds startup of code boot. This startup process included the initialization time for applications indicated by blue. Blue color, and the loading time for playing music indicated by pink color. This slide shows the result of startup time using suspend regime. We can skip the most startup steps of cold boot indicated by gray in the graph. There are only the processing of restarting devices, CPUs restoring registers and resuming the applications. As a result, it takes only four, 450 milliseconds from turning SEC on to returning back to USB audio play. And also, the dark current during SEC off condition should be taken care of and should be lowered because a lot of batteries are, are consumed. In the suspend mode, only some devices such as ERAM and CAM processor are consume, consuming power. In our current product, DRAM was DDS3 and 6.73 mA was consumed as the total current in suspend mode. At this time, in this presentation, we developed the system based on the next generation's SOC Alpha Gen 3 and LPDDR4 chip, and we deleted unused hardware circuit and improved power management IC. And then we have achieved only 1.51 milliampere consumption in total. Here, I summarize the effect of Wormwood. We have created some cute applications assuming several use cases, and we measured the start time in every case. In the code boot, we tried to improve and solve various bottlenecks and achieve about 4.5 seconds. Especially for viewing the rear camera, we achieved 
60 seconds startup. On the other hand, as a warm boot, we are able to achieve less than one second of startup times. By the way, these values is the result of executing the Qt application as program of bytecode format. If we were being used to the Qt Quick compiler, Qt applications are converted to machine code format, and this startup time is likely to be more shorter. Conclusions. I summarized the results of our efforts. We achieved 4.5 seconds of the startup time at the code boot as shown from this figure. It's reduced about 4 seconds as compared to not, not tuning. Furthermore, by using the suspend resume method, we achieved the startup time with which is 0 0.45 seconds, much less than the target value 1 second. You can experience the ultra-fast startup at, at here and at our demonstration booth. I, I wish you may look uh, and come to our booth if you have time. And to the future, in order to ap apply for a product, we have, a, uh, we have to deal with some items. For example, the application time should be adjusted after resume because it appears the time is deep and quick reconnection is necessary for communicating with outer devices uh, with, with network. And also, more reduce of dark current in suspend mode is necessary. We like to promote development as described toward the next target. Thank you. And just now, uh, we can show you the demonstration of our system. Is uh, it okay. ACC を付けします。今スリープモード。スリープモード。まあ十五十五秒待ってくれと。Please wait for fifteen minutes second and just in suspend mode. Ah, the current indicate zero ampere. 0.00 ampere. We need more, uh, last, uh, to little bit uh, to ampere, but uh, this can only 10, 10 milliampere. So this describes zero, but uh, real current is under 2 millisecond. Start. Ultra fast food. Just. します。ありとハト。あ、もちろんちょちょ。ピンスを飲みたいな。0.5。あれは池の縁に預きました。これ。わあ。いいですか。また、また、また。あれは足を。ああ、during <笑> Oh. <laughs> Just for that. <laughs> 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 
pasted. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions? Change the display output. Okay, thank you very much. What's the answer? 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 What's the answ